I bought these uh, dual camera dash cams into the country on a no profit basis to arm people with them so they could uh, at least prove their case in court that they weren't speeding or in the case of an accident or road rage. These units protected people and gathered evidence in literally in every single type of road or driving incident. Now what happened was when I closed the car website, uh, I stopped doing this of course, it was not much point, but funnily enough, um, a couple of months ago, a few months ago, I was contacted by uh, the Korean uh, manufacturer of another one of these devices and it was a, a better device and it was half the price of the one that I was getting from Taiwan. So I decided, oh well I'll keep the vendetta going and um, so I, I spoke to the guy in Korea and he put me on to the Australian distributor which was a Korean company set up in Sydney to distribute these devices and I set up a deal for literally for my, myself and my friends. I bought two of these uh, new fantastic uh, GPS equipped dual camera dash cams, uh, one, one for the two cars at my place and then I thought well maybe I'll talk to the guy and I'll see if I can set up a deal for my mates. So I did and he was very amenable and he said well you know if any of your friends want one of these uh, one of these dash cams, uh, tell them to contact me and I'll do them a special deal with postage included and everything. So I did, I set it up and the, um, and the company's name is Mottrex, they're in North Ride, um, in Macquarie Park, whatever they call it, and the, the, the unit's called a, a Transcend uh, Drive Pro 550B. And I've got one in my car and I'm absolutely blown away by it. There's no way on earth that anybody's gonna stitch me up for anything when I've got this thing running because the, the the videos are fantastic it's easy to use it's even got a built-in heads-up display it shows you your speed in your lineup vision so um, so yeah I organized it and um, I got quite a lot of people have contacted this guy at North Ride and and got uh, arm themselves with one of these devices to me it's the best insurance one-off insurance policy you could ever buy for a driver and uh, I've been going well with that I don't get anything out of it but I just get satisfaction in knowing that I'm putting a dent into the speed camera racket which is something that's really annoyed the crap out of me well again as I said before although the car.org.au website isn't around anymore I'm glad we've had this opportunity to speak to you and get a few anecdotes or examples of how people can in fact protect themselves. That website may not be there anymore, but you've just given us some really prime examples of what people should do. And as I said, you still have your personal website. Would you, would you oblige and tell me the name of that website? Yeah, it's www.ziggy.com.au, Z-I-W-G-Y.com.au. It's essentially um, a website for my entertainment business. And I, uh, that's what I've been doing most of my working life as a professional performer, musician. So uh, I'm looking at it on my laptop right now. And of course, I've got a lot of other information on it. I've got a lot of things that amuse me personally. So whenever I see something that grabs my interest, I'll, I'll do an article on it and whack it on the website. But primarily, it's, it's to promote my, uh, my work. But it's got a lot of other stuff on it, like uh, various, uh, I've made some sections of legal matters, uh, matters of interest, um, and especially one of the real big things that interests me is scams and frauds, uh, one of my pet hates, especially internet scams. And uh, I've got very comprehensive information for people who want to go to the website and learn how to deal with scams and not get scammed because knowledge is power. If you've got the knowledge, you can avoid getting ripped off. And by the way, if you really want to know how bad it is, Australians lose more than $1 billion a year to internet scams, and that's the tip of the iceberg because a lot of those people who get scammed are too embarrassed to report them. So that $1 billion is only what we know. I would, have, I would estimate that probably maybe five times that amount is lost by Aussies to internet scams but four, uh, four fifths of that is not reported because people are far too embarrassed and there's some reasons why they refuse to 
report it because if they do report it they can be involved in the commission of a crime so the website name is ziggy.com.au and I believe down the left side of the screen as the viewer looks at the website you've got a, uh, I believe it's a drop down menu so with these these essays or pieces of information are split into categories yes uh, for instance I'm looking at it right now I'll just I can make the thing work. Uh, yeah, if you go to the main menu, I've got different sections. Like in the main menu, there's entertainment. There's an interesting section on my one-hit wonder band that I was in in 1966 called The Mysteries. That's quite an interesting story. Um, there's a scams and fraud section. There's an internet scams section. There's an interesting stuff section, a legal matter section, and then a very, very comprehensive section on humor lots of jokes lots of interesting uh, photos and fun real funny stuff I, um, I I have a massive collection of gags I love humor so you get a laugh put it that way and are you happy for people who visit your website to contact you of course we don't offer legal advice per se no in the same way that we don't offer financial or medical advice but are you receptive to people getting in touch oh absolutely i'm always happy to get a call or an email and talk to them if they want to know about those dash cams uh, as i say uh, the information is on the website under interesting stuff and they can have a look at the uh, review i did on it and contact the guy who is in charge of distributing them in Australia and by the way that's the official distributor a lot of companies who are selling the same product uh, claim to be Australian companies and they're not they just have a website claim a, and a VOIP phone number maybe but they're based in places like China Hong Kong and what um, there are all good and you get the stuff cheap until you have a warranty problem you, can, you then you have to send it back to China and hopefully you might see it again in a few months or you may never see it at all. So that's why I didn't want to deal with um, any of these companies and I set up the uh, camera distribution thing with the local authorised uh, agent of the Korean company that makes them. So if people want to ring me and talk about their traffic problems, their driving issues, yeah, I'm fine. Or anything else, uh, internet scams. Um, I've been researching these for many, many years, and if they read that section, they might get a laugh out of it, but they'll learn a lot. Okay, well, thank you for sharing those pieces of information with us. Uh, I would encourage viewers to have a look at that website, ziggy.com.au. And again, Ziggy, I want to thank you for being on the program today. My pleasure.